We're about to show you another new project for the channel. This one, in fact, is going to be for sale when it's done. It's a 1971 Chevy C10, and we're going to do a resto mod with it. We haven't done away with our 1976 C10. You're going to see more of that in the near future. But this is the one we're going to do and sell this one. showing you the bed of the truck as it's arrived, complete with all the junk in the rear. Although the door in the rear is probably better than the current door on the driver's side and will either be used or be used for parts. The bed itself is not going to make it through the restoration or resto mod because we're going to turn this into a short bed instead of the long bed it currently is right now. And we'll actually cover that on the channel. A lot of other things are going to happen with this truck too, but we'll have the entire short bed build up where we're going to show you that with all new parts as well as how we shorten the frame professionally to do it properly to make the truck just as good as it could possibly be we're going to show you a few more things on the truck now as to the condition it's in but as you can see with the bed the bed's pretty much toast and if you were to look around this close in person you look at every panel and say it's all dented all rusty etc we really don't want that but the frame underneath and most of the cab is in amazingly good condition. None of the four wheels on the truck will make it to the finished vehicle. They're all different, not attractive, and kind of crummy. So we're going to get rid of all of those. Just as we'll get rid of a lot of things on the vehicle. When it's done, we're going to smooth it out quite a bit. And we're going to actually finish it in burnt orange and white. With a big Chevy bow tie in the back and a number of other neat features. As you can see when Trish is showing you the cab, the cab's actually in not too bad a shape. Yes, there's some rust through, some extra holes that we don't want, but overall it's reasonably straight and will make a good basis for a nice Chevy C10. Looking here in the cab and the fact that there's rust in the floor, which we'll take care of, and everything else being real well worn, we're going to redo it all, of course, in the matching orange, and we're still trying to decide whether we're going to be tan or what exactly we're going to go with for a color inside when we do it. Right now, it's got a fuel tank behind the seat. Nope, that's going to be relocated to the back frame of the truck because most people wouldn't want to have the fuel tank behind the seat. I'm one of the few people who would say, yeah, it's original, doesn't bother me, but most people really don't want that, so we're going to change that too. We're, of course, going to improve the performance. We're going to improve the looks. We're going to lower the truck. We think three inches in the rear, two inches in the front. Add a rolled rear pan instead of a rear bumper and tuck the front bumper clear up close to the vehicle to make it look a lot more integrated. And when we go under the hood, we're going to show you that it's even less desirable right now. But we've got plans. When you're looking under the hood, you can see there's an inline six in the vehicle right now. It does currently have an automatic. We can tell you from checking it out, it was originally built as a manual, and we don't believe that's the original engine either. So the transmission and engine have been changed. They're not going to survive. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting in a streetable V8, somewhere in the 350 to 400 horsepower range, and an automatic transmission. The reason we're going to choose there is we're going to set it up so somebody can go up to any gas pump and have regular 89 octane gas and be able to run the truck and not actually have something that's finicky or needs premium at all times. And 350 to 400 horsepower will be plenty of horsepower for this truck and a short bed version is going to be plenty fast. But we really do want to keep it so it's easy for somebody to actually maintain and have fun when they drive it. Other plans we are looking at, of course, this is going to be air conditioning. We're going to put in a modern Bluetooth stereo sound system so you can pick up your phone in the vehicle and have the sound that you'd like to have on various stations or uh, with Sirius XM, for example. We're also planning to add a backup camera to this. 
and we might have a few other things in store to make it really usable, really fun, and more like a modern vehicle, but with the nostalgia of the old truck wrapped into it. So stay tuned, come back, keep up with this build, like and subscribe. See you later. Thank you.